the two explosions that you guys just saw were created using a simple soda bottle like this and a couple of very easily available chemicals. But before we start talking about them, do let me know in the comments which of the explosions you guys thought was the bigger one, the first one or the second one. Now for making our first bomb, we'll use this chemical called calcium carbide, which can easily be bought from Amazon. It looks just like rock, but if I take a piece of it and drop it in water, it immediately starts reacting with water and releases a lot of acetylene gas, which is highly flammable. We'll be using this reaction between calcium carbide and water to make our first bomb. But before we start, I have collected some highly flammable acetylene gas in this balloon. So let's have some fun by lighting it on fire. Now for making the bomb, take your soda bottle and fill it halfway with water. Then take a few pieces of calcium carbide. For a 750 ml bottle like this, 7 to 8 pieces will be enough. Now we just have to drop these pieces into the bottle and close the cap immediately. So our soda bottle bomb is now armed. Let's place it somewhere and allow gas pressure to do its magic. We can also use other soda bottles for our bomb. Now if you are not able to find calcium carbide, there is another easily available chemical that you guys can use and that is sodium hydroxide which is also known as caustic soda but the making process will be a bit different take your soda bottle and as before fill it halfway with water then take some caustic soda and drop it into the bottle after that shake the bottle until the caustic soda is completely dissolved. Once the caustic soda is completely dissolved, find some aluminium foil and tear a few small pieces from it. Then drop these pieces into the bottle. Once the aluminium is added, a reaction will start inside the bottle, which will result in the formation of hydrogen gas. Now if I put a balloon on top of this bottle, the hydrogen gas produced inside this bottle will get collected in the balloon. And since hydrogen is lighter than air, we get a flying balloon. Now instead of a balloon, if I put a cap on this bottle, the hydrogen gas released will create enough pressure to rip the bottle apart with a loud bang. So those were two very simple ways to make a soda bottle bomb. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one.